video on the drive. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. How many police chases do you think you've been in? 30, I think. On a scale of one. If you've been in 30 police chases and survived all of them, that just goes to show that police fucking suck, bro. Ten, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a ten. Nobody's more wanted than me. I wasn't lying. What did he just say? Ten, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a ten. Nobody's more wanted than me. Nobody's more wanted than me. That's cat, bro. Like, if you're just a fast driver, like, you know what I mean? Like, this I worse. I wasn't lying when I said these guys are wanted. Wait, they caught it on camera? Folks, I'm Tommy G. I'm here with the most wanted drivers in New York. Hey, I'm street bike. Wait, why would you post this though? Can you not get in trouble? Swim team, you already know what's going on. I love NYPD. Swim team, the dream team. So buckle up, folks. This is gonna be a wild ride. One day in the safety of my home in Milwaukee, I started to get bombarded by DMs imploring me to explore these two drivers named- Wait, hold on, let's watch this shit, bro. One. When I looked at their pages, their driving shocked me. I would describe their videos as daring, dangerous, and reckless. I'm fascinated by the human- But like, can the police track the car down by looking at their number plate and going to like different cameras to see where they went to go home, or- I to push limits and go against the grain. I'm what? fascinated by the daredevils and outlaws of the world. Young men in particular love to do this- They don't have place? Ways. Oh. Evil Knievel shot himself out of a cannon. Philip Petit tightrope walked across the Twin Towers, Alex Hano climbed up cliffs without a rope, and fighter Darren Till cut weight until what? he went blind. The question that comes to mind when you look at this behavior is what compels someone to push themselves to such lengths and risk injury or death. In today's video, we investigate this daredevil behavior in the form of reckless drivers who are causing outrage and fascination across New York. Police tried to pull so over. one of those people was on Neon Stream? A car on West 38th Street and 7th Avenue, the driver sped off, slamming into cars, driving on the sidewalk, and even hitting a dining shed. Squeeze. There's a twist in the story because these oh, guys don't that's what you're. That's what you meant. Stunts. They also risk the. I was wondering what the fuck you meant by that. And the law enforcement that chases them. These guys regularly Yo. go on police chases and evade police helicopters. Today we interview them face to face and talk morality. Bro, what ethics, the fuck? Danger, Squeeze and their motivation for their okay. behavior. Let's dive in and go boots on the ground. Bruh. This documentary is purely for educational purposes. We want to stress that okay. the behavior depicted in this video is dangerous, illegal, and should never be imitated. And remember, it only takes one bad crash to ruin your life or someone else's. Mm, Please exactly, drive bro. responsibly. Thank you. Type shit. This is why I drive responsibly. Two with the effing son. Two for two my carbon and my section. He should have snitched? Yeah, but like, they would like set out to try and fucking kill him or something, bro. We wanted to know how everyday people felt about this kind of driving. We had some extra time to kill at the New York airport, so I went around showing people videos of Squeeze Benz and Where's Night at One driving. Here's what they had to say about it. Fuck what do you me. Think it's dangerous. <laughs> I think if the police go after them, it's a bit dangerous. Whatever. Yo, I feel like I've encountered these people, like, not these people, but like, someone like this on the roads in the UK, because there are some fucking retards in the UK that just go in the fucking third lane and just... Like all the way across, bro. I don't understand. It. Right now. See how there's some close calls? I feel like he thinks he's. In I will never get it, bro. Tommy makes videos about gangs? Oh shit. People in the UK just can't drive? Yeah, that's kind of true. I don't know what happened. I could tell this guy a million times, hey, you're going to kill somebody on the road. He's going to do it anyway. What do you think about that? It makes me mad. I get it. All kids, they're bred to do that, right? But it's still a Are responsible. If I told you that this guy's gotten away from not only multiple police, but also helicopters. How do you get away from a helicopter? Like, you, you've got to be like the worst. You know what I mean, though? You gotta be the worst enforcement ever. Oh god. What's your reaction to that? I believe it. I just feel like it's really so. Who tells you think they're cool for driving fast? Losers. Alright, bro. Fish, like you're the type of person that gets their homework done on time, bro. For some period of time and probably have to go through safe driving classes, maybe talk to people who are victims of people I think that drive. Oh, shit, I remember that guy. Like attempted manslaughter or something mm -hmm. like I mean, yeah. that's in effect. Yeah. You're putting people at risk yeah. intentionally when you go a certain speed over the speed. <laughs> if you were his mother or father, what would you tell him? That he's a selfish idiot. One of these days, somebody is going to get in his way and that person's gonna end up dead or many people are gonna Bro. end up dead and if he ends up dead that's his consequence for what he does but nobody else deserves to have that kind of risk I it's see. no different than someone who's really drunk getting behind the wheel of a car and driving when they have no control i mean Shit. your car is actually like a weapon of mass destruction it has to be handled with care worse than being drunk and getting behind the wheel because you're actively making the choice to put other people's lives at risk 
price gets the paid. The steepest price that gets paid is not the person driving the car. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna end up dying and that'll be that. That can ruin hundreds of people's lives. Like if a kid in a school were to die, everybody Fuck it out. Yeah. for that one person. Oh, yeah. Like the only reason I would ever speed is if I'm in like a, like a, like a, like a, like a like a long lane like where there's no one else bro and I'd, I'd like speed up then or if it's like really late at night or really early in the morning when there's no fucking cars on the on the motorway or the, the highway um i'd zoom across that okay not zoom but like you know what i mean like I, i'd be a little i'd be a little faster you feel me not safe at all if he hits somebody do you think it should be manslaughter or first degree i say manslaughter because you know what you're doing like you're just driving crazy like what would you tell him if you could say something to him uh, be like, they oh, practice on sims what do you think driving actually? Like this? oh it's terrible i don't like it like you better stay away from that yeah what should be the penalty if he's caught um, manslaughter or first degree that's ooh. another debate if he hits somebody you mean if he kills somebody it's vehicular yeah, manslaughter this guy has an ability to get away from multiple police vehicles and including helicopters right so he hasn't been caught Yesterday, he got away from a helicopter. Where? In New York? Kill a man's New York. Wow. What kind of car is he renting? Lamborghini. I could see I was out running the cops. I guess we could- Wait, So they fucking rent these cars and then possibly trash them? Oh, I don't I get it, bro. Telephone pole. Get Turn him. yourself in, brother. You're a reckless driver and you're gonna hurt innocent people. Alright. I got folks taking pics, some like pop rats. I'm gonna go and get the test. I don't really like my really getting to the check, but I ain't rocking on horizon. We're on our way to meet Squeeze Benz. Recently, he's been making the news for his high speed stunts. While some people see his driving as exhilarating or exciting, there's a rising sentiment that this sort of behavior unnecessarily endangers innocent drivers and pedestrians. He sent us the address of a random parking garage. So he's got like a fake ID or something to show people that. You know, told us to pull the, up. The, this is what from. we encountered. Folks, we're on the way to talk to one of the most wanted drivers in New York, Squeeze Benz. This kid does stuff that makes my butthole pucker up. Pause. This guy is reckless. This guy is extreme. This guy drives at a very high speed. Right. I do not drive like this. You shouldn't drive like this. And there's a reason why I'm not getting into their cars while they're driving this fast. It's dangerous. It's reckless. It's scary. Disclaimer don't do this at home. He's kind of like so, a high speed fugitive. I'm always interested in that. They can track them down easily, but they're slow. Like, I don't, f especially if you've got helicopters, bro. Do you know Balin Lev Levine? I don't know who that oh, is, bro. World. People that live on the edge. Humans, especially men, are always pushing the limits of danger. But one distinction I want to make is Evil Knievel only harms himself if he fails. The UFC fighters are both signing up. They're in mutual combat. How this can't go into the city? Damn. So what? As soon as the heli comes out, we just bail out to the city? Because if something goes wrong, they harm innocent civilians. So I want to ask him about that, but then ask him- They should just get drones, bro. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't know why police haven't invested in, like, high-tech drones, bro. Actually. About the outlaw, the testing danger. It makes sense. I feel like helicopters are outdated, Loki. What's a drone going to do? If they kit out a drone good enough to make it, like, you know, as good as a helicopter with, like, night vision and shit- it could take over helicopters easily, on guard. It's not a product place. Drone is too slow? No, bro. They can make drones far as fast as helicopters, bro. I do not want a partnership with Celsius. I do not drink your drinks every single trip, multiple times a day. I don't absolutely love your drink. Guys, if you want to hit me up, please do. I would love to talk to you. Otherwise, I'll probably hit up Prime and you know how that goes. So we're pulling up to meet Squeeze Benz. I'm excited. I hope you are too. You What's know, up, you lady? You good? Must be an issue around here if they have a Mustang NYPD car that's got some zip to it. RIP mainstream media. It's been a great run. Kudos to you for lasting as long as you have. But that's it. I mean, that's you're finished. It's sorry. In honor of that, RIP mainstream media. Sweatshirts available. Tommy G McGee. Don't give a fuck, bro. So this is the guy that was with me on. On a scale of one to ten, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a ten. Nobody's more wanted than me. Really? Yeah. That's insane. How is no one more wanted? Okay, all right, fine. Uh, if he posts vids like these, wouldn't it be more easy to track him? I don't know, bro, but like, I'm sure the police will want to talk to him or investigate. I don't know. Same. I'm cooking like, dinner. I'm good, bro. Ago, I got my first Benz, and I always did like little driving videos, and I never really took it to nothing. And then my boy started saying, like, you know, mad people are blowing up off this. And I was just like, you know what? That's just how it started. I'm curious, like you have a Lamborghini, at one point a Mercedes Benz. I'm sure you go through a lot of different cars. Are you going on tour and just driving people's cars all crazy? crazy. Are you guys getting your own cars? Like, tell me about that. I had my own car for a bit, but then I changed it up because I did get chased a lot. So I just realized, like you know, doing long term rentals is just a way better route. And then obviously, I don't tell these guys on street Benz. Did you ever get blown up by the tour people asking what the hell happened? We do ask, and then like I kind of just like you know, I'm just driving the car. You know what I mean? You mix danger, but there's also other people at risk when you do. 
you then? Innocent civilians. So what okay. do you think about the element of danger for that? I've been doing this since like real shit since I was nine. I used to take my dad's car off and I used to just walk. When you were nine? The FBI can find him in under a week, but it's not that serious. Yeah, but like, oh god, though, like it's gonna get serious when someone dies, though, and then uh, by then it will be too fucking late. Like, no, I've been doing this for so long now that I feel like I did have some professional. I, like, you know, niggas know, like that's how I drive. There's been incidents where I've gone out with people and they try keeping up with me and they crash. How fast do you go? I mean, there's been a video on live where I've gone one hand at 210 miles an hour. Filming with one hand, driving with the other, 210 miles an hour. Yes. That's insane. Did that scare you? Not really. To build up a tolerance of just speed. Do you feel like the Please watch your Instagram. 100%. They do. Let's pop in the car and keep the conversation going. Fuck it, hell. How many people normally f you out compared to like, am I in the high end of no, the high end. <laughs> That's okay. Does your mom worry about you? Lord, I call her. She don't even want to hear the things that I'm doing. She be getting scared because she know I be doing shit. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know any friends that have gotten really hurt or died doing my, this? My boy, he was racing and he knocked up and he hit his head and his head like split open a little bit. He needed stitches, but like, other than that, nothing's ever happened. Tell me about the camera system in New York. How hard is it to evade capture or awareness of the police? Super easy. A lot of people like, like they be doing crimes with their plates on. Like I mean, if I go and run from a cops, I'm gonna make sure I either have uh, altered plates or no plates at all. New York City is home to one of the most advanced camera surveillance networks on the planet. Holy Amnesty shit! Amnesty International Project identified that there are more than 25,000 public and private cameras at traffic intersections across. 25,000 just in New York City? What the city. Fuck? This camera technology can capture faces and other details from up to 400 feet away. This infrastructure isn't cheap either. This camera That's technology crazy. combined with cell phone tracking tools, spyware. If you got that many cameras, how are you able to like track everything? That, that's insane. Up nearly three billion dollars in expenditures from the NYPD from 2007 to 2019. Wow. When street racers run rampant in the city. It's easy for governments to make the argument to increase the surveillance in order to shut down this reckless and deadly behavior. Oh, shit, However, man. this same technology can also be used to capture the profiles of millions of civilians on a daily basis something that is currently happening in china damn so if you go missing in new york like it's it's kind of easy to find like what i think there's one camera for every 13 people in the uk say on god Many actually americans are afraid of as technology such as ai facial recognition and high def cameras increase in quality this is a challenge we are going to have to wrestle with to ensure the very tech that can help keep us safe also doesn't grow too powerful to infringe upon our freedoms all right what are the different penalties for if you got caught doing what we're doing? Jail time. I'm running red lights. I'm doing more than triple the speed limit, double the speed limit. This is a lot of tickets to it. You did a video in Times Square recently, right? Yeah. I gotta send it back for all my insecurities. I'd be like some work with all the team in back. Bro, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Make the tops is lying locked when he's like. It only takes one mistake to permanently change or destroy. In Times Square's wild actually though. Like somebody's life. I do understand that. How do I not hear about this? Also, like, there was a lot of people. 12 o'clock in the morning, you seen in the video, like, I stopped, looked around, made sure there was no money, and started doing the And then when I was running the red lights, I'm not gonna lie, I was going to keep bugging. I looked, you know how to run red lights. I've been chased by Mac Hawks to the point where I could blow the red lights doing 60, 70. No, I'm not going to do that. 60, 70, dude. What is your strategy in getting away from If you ever kill someone, he deserves life? Yeah, 100%, bro. This is crazy. You got much more Tom... <laughs> yeah, maybe, bro. I like this, actually. Hopping on the highway. These cops, like, they're not really built for that. It's a lot of real rookie cops now. A bunch of rookie cops. And these guys do not know how to drive on the highway. Let's talk about how drivers like Benz can evade detection for so long. They do so by altering or covering up their license plates so the car cannot be tracked by police or Holy the traffic Holy shit. Cameras. Cars with his modification have been... But if he's renting cars, do they not have trackers on them? Nicknamed Ghost Cars. Last month, a joint task force was launched between New York Governor's Kathy Hochul, New York Mayor Eric Adams, the NYPD, and the MTA to crack down on the issue of ghost cars. In their first day alone, they impounded 73 cars, issued 282 court summons, and made eight. Yo, I got a question, bro. Um, do you guys have license plates on the front and back of your car? Because I'm starting to notice some people don't have that shit on the front. <clears throat> aren't you supposed to? Have, aren't you supposed to have it on the front and back? 
Or am I... I don't arrests. know. And I noticed the same thing. Depends on the state? Wow. Home in Milwaukee. The guys running through the red lights, driving the stolen cars, and driving aggressively, most of them do not have license plates. What's the longest police chase you've been in? That's a pretty long chase. How many guys do you think were chasing you at once? How many? I'd be like three, four, but the main thing was the helicopter. That was a really hard to go to. Car chase you can Luckily, it was late night. I was in the porch, and that shit does 210 miles an hour. So I just hopped on the highway, you know what I mean? The helicopter can only go so fast. You go faster than the helicopter? Yeah, they only like top out like 150, 140. You crash into wow. somebody, they get paralyzed, they die. Do you think you deserve to go to prison? Yes. Obviously, I wouldn't want to be put into prison for life. If I kill somebody, that's somebody's life. Like, that's somebody's mother, brother, cousin, Holy brother, Whoa, one of my lights just turned off. What the fuck? Whoa, why am I... Okay, that was weird. What the fuck? Okay. Since if somebody crashed into my mom in her car and they killed her, I'd want them to go to jail. You know what I mean? Maybe not for life, but just enough to get it in their head, like, you know? What makes taking these risks worth it for you? They're not really risk to me, that's the thing. I don't really see them as risk. I see them How do you make money, money from doing this though? That's why I don't understand. I mean since you were nine years old. My dad used to give me his car, you know, I used to sit on his lap when I was like seven, he used to give me the steering wheel that and then you know I hit nine. A brand what do you mean a brand? This is like casual dickhead driving. He's not even going crazy right now. Oh my motherfucker. Okay, easy tiger. Easy. Oh, okay. Easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh my fucking god. Ooh, that motherfucking made me. Imagine me doing that. A hundred? Yeah, well, that's, that's really nothing. How many police chases do you think you've been in? More than my hand. There's been so many times where, like, the boys just get behind us and they start chasing. Or, like, it's not really chases to us. You know, they back up. Surely this guy gets arrested, too, though, if he's with him. Between me and where's 981, like, where's 981, Loki died down. I feel like I've taken over that spot, so yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of young men that watch your content. What do you think about kids that want to go try and replicate this, copy this? From Sweet Benz himself. Do not come try this. This is something that you can get paralyzed. Yeah, true, bro. Like, why would you do all this, film it, record it, upload it, bro? Like, people are gonna copy this shit. It's not looking great. Die. I don't drive like this. You shouldn't. Some people in this game take lots of risks, and Squeeze is one of those guys, but highly advise never to do it. How Fuck it up. is the camera system in New York? It's getting more sophisticated now to where, like, you know, it'll take them probably two, three days to really find where he was at, you know what I mean? How do you stash your vehicle so that the police don't trace you to your house? I pay for a garage. I have one parking garage where I park my car. So just like a drug dealer has trap houses, you have different... I have trap houses. Yeah. Here we go. Are you wow. nervous at all? I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are right here. Like... Bro, did they... I'm fucking nervous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. right here. Oh my god. Oh. Bro, how do you know he was about to get out of his vehicle? You were just about to smack him as he opened up his door. Why do you think he's doing that young man grabbing? What the fuck? Let's talk about bro. What if the guy's an undercover cop? Nah, he's not. He does videos like this, bro, and people will trust him for that Element reason. And young men. The male brain does not fully mature until about 25, so they're prefrontal. Wait, really? So I'm still, like, not there yet? The cortex that assesses risk is not fully developed yet, which helps to explain the risky behavior we see in this segment of the population. Oh, There's shit. There's a name for this. Young male syndrome. This sometimes short-sighted behavior is hypothesized- That's why you're sped? I'm not fucking sped, bro. That's, that's, that's a different thing. Advantage. A 2001 University of Liverpool study found that females prefer brave males who take risks to the ones that do not. And if we go back thousands of years to being hunter-gatherers on the savanna, this preference makes sense. The female, the female brain matures faster? Fends off the lion when is that? When, when, when another when? rival tribe approaches. Biologically, not much has changed in our brains then, but our technology has progressed much further. And it helps to explain why you see young men doing high-speed chases and drifting through time. Stop putting that fucking emo in a chat, bro. <sighs> So I'll be the one with the helicopter. I pulled up on the highway patrol in the truck. He was about to pull someone over. So I got behind him. I started playing with him. And I was recording. I got away, obviously. A week later, I started getting chased by two, three black chargers. I'm looking up. And I see the helicopter above me. And I'm like, oh, no. Nah. It was only like my second ever, ever helicopter chase. Oh, so my shit. Was open. I'm not knowing how hard these guys are going to go for me right now. They're going to set a roadblock up, something. You know what I mean? So Holy that fuck, was bro. Spike strap. That's never happened to me. See, like, I'm right? glad this shit doesn't happen in the UK as bad as it does. I sometimes, right? Sometimes when I went with my dad, we watch like cop shows, like like police chase shows. I enjoy watching those, but it's nowhere near as bad as this shit is. But I do enjoy watching those cop shows, though. If a cop shows on the TV, you know I'm fucking watching it. Give 
a spot. We're going to use it. How long do you see yourself doing this spot? It's just not going to be a forever thing. Eventually, it's going to turn into a brand. How often do you drive? I don't get how it's a brand though. Let's talk about reckless driving in the United States. In 2021, there were 6 million car crashes and 39,500 of them were fatal. A survey by the insurance company Nationwide found that 47% of Gen Z reported driving faster than the speed limit and 34% of them reported video chatting- I just subbed to Ninja and got this emo. No, you fucking didn't, bro. While driving. Actions like this <sighs> help contribute to car crashes being the leading cause of death for American teenagers. I want to join SWAT with a motor? The amount of pedestrians hey, look, bro. reckless driving. In just don't swap me. There were 7,500 deaths in this manner. In New York, shit. vehicular manslaughter is a felony that carries a steep sentence of up to 15 years. We took two Polaroids, they're fresh off the press, still developing. We're gonna put them in two random people that buy merch in the next 48 hours. Two people will get Squeeze Benz, Tommy G, Polaroid photos, RIP mainstream media, big dogs gotta eat. Hope to send this to you. Available on Patreon only Fuck are the wild and extended cut versions of the interviews with Squeeze Benz, including one right after he got finished with a helicopter chase, extended cut interview with Swim Team, and more. Yeah, this is some right, good shit. Patreon. Here we go, bro. Swim team. So this is the brand they were talking about. We find ourselves in another parking garage meeting with New York driver Where's 981 and his crew, the swim team. They got a fucking disco? Okay. Swimming refers to the driving technique where they cut up, weaving 50 in and out of swimming is actually 150. They go. They've gained a lot of notoriety online, and I wanted to talk to them to learn more about them. The faster you go and the more dangerous you drive, Jesus. the more views you get. Yo. All right, guys, you're pulling up to meet the swim team. You're one of the groups of the drivers. Why do you guys call yourself swim team? This is how it started. Like, they called me float. It used to be called float apostle. So, like, that wasn't real? Like, oh. a, like a teacher. I would teach you how to float. And then it just turned into, like, you know, we started cutting up and stuff. It was almost like we were swimming through traffic. And they'll call me, like, Michael Phelps. So, they're swimming. How fast do you go sometimes? I'm hitting 150. I actually thought that was real. I'm hitting 150, bro. <laughs> like, it's triple digits no matter what. You're 50, 60 miles an hour is my 100. Have you had any near misses? Yeah, of course. People come to me like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm not going to try and teach you how to do it because of the simple fact that someone can get hurt. Thank you that I have not hurt anybody. It's like Holy shooting shit. a gun in an open field. Like, anybody can get hit with a straight bullet. If you hit somebody and they get really injured or die, what should be the punishment you think? I'm I'm going to He's a mod for a set yeah, on it's worth it. Why? It's not worth it. That's the thing. I can't justify it, you know? What's it like being in a high speed chase? Your first time, okay. it feels crazy, bro. Like, you're like, f like, you're scared to go home. Some way, somehow, you make it home. You, you have a little. What if they find you, though, and, like, raid your shit? It's like. Tough, a tough night of sleep that first night. And then you make it to the second night, you make it to the next night, they never come. After that, it just you get numb to it, you know. What are nah, they gonna New find, York bro? Chasing people, because I know in Milwaukee, oftentimes they don't chase you at a certain speed because they know it results in civilian deaths. A lot of times when the chase happens. I, it depends on the cop, honestly. I've seen cops where one of my like they need to invest in like technology that will like stick to your car, like some Avengers type shit. Like they throw some shit out their car, sticks to your car, and it like tracks you and shit. Wait, they need that. Going off road, off road in New York. Or like a like a, a special police stone, like they throw the stone at your car. It's got a tracker inside. It breaks the window, sits in a car, and it tracks your shit. No, better yet, a police stone. You throw it at the car, smashes the window, goes into the car, explodes with different trackers. So no matter how many they throw out, there's gonna be at least one tracker in there. And the fucking cop following him off the road. It just takes that one, you know, that one cop that's just ready to be like, ah, I'm coming. For what you want from about the future? What does your mom think about this? Retarded idea? It's actually not, bro. Because if they actually came out with this idea, you'd fuck with it, bro. Bring my mom that would cost a lot. Well, if you want the safety of the civilians and the public, sometimes you got a. Uh, Dabbling some money, bro. You know? 150. She didn't. She didn't get scared. In her eyes, she knows I'm a good driver. Like, she's got mother's prayers, of course. She's gonna always pray me for me. Fuck me, my asshole, Make sure bro. everything works out every single time, but she's not too sure. You created Swim, right? I wouldn't say I created Swim, so it started off with the zero percent. Wait, so who's the... Right? Oh, wait, so this is like a team. Oh, okay. So I'm here with... We're going for the next 250. Where's not anyone? Go. And I'm Tommy G. Oh Legend. shit, okay. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Who out of this group is the high speed? That is a very dangerous car, bro. What's the fastest you guys have ever gone in a car? 170? Chat, what's the fastest you guys have been in a car, bro? I went to like. 
Kamala 80. Uh, yeah. 569. Well, it worth it for you to put okay. yourself in that position where you could go to the afterlife if you're not careful. If I die, I die? Wow. Fuck me, like 2,000 miles sunlight? Okay, okay, okay. I never, like, hopped out of car and went that fast off rip. It's kind of like, Shit. I got used to it, slowly, you know, building up like a tolerance to speed. But if you're watching this and you're a driver, then you know what I mean when you feel the rear wheels through the, through the seat of the car. That you're car super is. in tune and in touch. Yeah. It's almost like the car is an extension of your body. Uh, yeah. You have senses okay. from the seat, the steering. That's a crazy mentality on God. How loud the engine is, if your tires are squealing. You have so many cues in it, and it's really up to you to take all that sensory input and be able to, like, drive properly. Holy like, fuck. Do this shit like, we I was in Germany on those node speed limit highway. Wait, that's a thing? Hello? Just go crazy. Just is that a thing? Right now. It's just it's expensive, and people are shutting the trucks down. Do you guys know anyone that has crashed or died or gotten injured doing It is? Sure. How have I never heard of that? If anybody were to seriously get hurt or crash or anything like that, I think it will fuck. Yes, it's a thing. Surely there's some limit, bro. Like what? Once I drove a car and I went like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> On the way to work, someone oh, could be going shit. to pick up their kid from soccer practice. Like, how does that factor in your driving and what you think about when you drive? How are there no casualties then? What does that mean? Like, how have I not heard about that? There's a video of a Bugatti going. Nah, I gotta see this, bro. Hold on. Bugatti. Germany. 300 miles per hour. I gotta see this shit, bro. <clears throat> There's no fucking way, right? How is this le- That's a game. It says GoPro, you fat spastic. How is this, like, allowed? Wait, he ain't even doing anything yet. Hold on. It looks fake. It's because it's a GoPro. Now you can hear you can hear him in the car, bro. This is a game. You can hear him in the fucking car, bro. Like anyone dying and shit. Nice one, bro. Fucking hell. That's actually... How is that even... How is that fucking allowed, bro? I witnessed some accidents before when I was on a highway. What the fuck, bro? Have you guys had any near misses? Of course. There was this one time where he took a cut right after he took the cut. It was either I fit the cut or I'm going. It's funny saying this, but we're not criminals. We have real life jobs. We yeah. have insurance on our cars. We pay for our cars. Like, people think, oh, this is insane. Like, yeah, that should be pissing me off, bro, because I better work hard as for this shit, bro. Do you guys' moms know about this? Bro, they just normal people, like, living amongst us, but they, they're, they're crazy fucking drivers, bro. She goes, and she tells me every day to stop. And I tell her, look, I'm trying. We have a brand slim team, right? We're not trying to cut our work list 24 7, bro. Like we got a 5M service coming up, a set of forces service coming up. 5M? What, like, like GTA 5M? We see the community, we see the love people you guys are giving us, and we're not gonna take this and just, you know, throw it all away. What the like, fuck? Those how old, how, how old are they, bro? What do you say to the people that are, like, super pissed when they see what you do? They're like, that's reckless, it's selfish, it's dangerous, people could die. 
What, what do you say to those type of folks? Honestly, bro, it's like, I agree with them, bro. I don't even argue with them. Bro. I don't argue with them, bro. I don't argue with them. So, like, they got a good, like, okay, not a good mindset, but, like, they know what they're doing. Like, they're not, like, they're not bad people. They're not bad people. They're not trying to, like, rebel against society and shit. Okay, I like that. Look, it could be a lot worse if they were trying to rebel against society and do this shit, bro. So at least they're good people, at least. They're self-conscious, exactly. Probably mid-twenties. Fuck me. Tell me what's going through your head, your head in the police chase. How do you get away? What are you? Yeah, what? How the fuck do they get away? Go a few streets and take an exit. You got a hideout. Like, how do you evade police in this type of situation? Hold on, don't give out too much sauce. There's people that might watch what you do and wonder how the police have not caught you yet. What, what is your answer? I mean, truly, the way that we don't get caught is to stop being dickhead. New York has a no chase policy. I can say this because I've been at least in some of these. I got into the most cop chases. Wait, so where else has a no chase policy? I didn't know that was a thing. New York, you can't chase people in? I didn't know that. Washington? I so, wanted to know what the legal perspective was on what Squid... It's a pussy policy? So what? If you cannot, you physically cannot chase anyone? Team Squeeze Benz and all these other New York... Ohio? Doing. What were the legal ramifications? How much jail time could they face? And why the is fuck? it that they were so brazen about continually doing this? I talked to my guy, Nate the Lawyer, to figure out more about this. He's a lawyer that runs a YouTube channel okay. and breaks things down regularly. This is what he had to say. Holy shit. My name is Nate the Lawyer. I'm a former prosecutor and a former law school professor. And what you've just seen on screen is known as reckless driving. And the state of New York, you could serve up to a year in prison if you recklessly drive. Reckless driving in New up York. Up to a year? Really? It's simple. It's if you drive in a manner that, quote, unreasonably interferes with the free and proper use no, of no, the public no, no, highways this, or unreasonably endangers users of the public highway. Reckless driving is prohibited. Every person violating this provision shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. Only a year? I thought it should be more than that. a year in jail. If someone is injured or killed during the act of reckless like driving, a year and a you can fine. find yourself facing some serious charges. Dangerous and disturbing exclusive video of young people driving their cars recklessly Holy just before shit. one of the cars crashed and killed two people. Now this drive Here in Washington, they let out severe criminals like sex offenders after a... What? A few months to a few years? Dude, it should be like fucking 20 years men, no? Charged with manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. He's facing up to What's up, Sai? How we doing, prison. bro? If you are doing something that you know is inherently dangerous, how we been? You get someone killed or hurt, and then you do it anyway. That the law finds to be reckless and criminal in some cases. Driving a car 90 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone is reckless. Someone could get hurt, someone could get killed, and if someone does, then you are on the hook for that homicide. There may be no yeah, I'm doing repercussions good, because Discord, of New uh, we'll York's do that tomorrow. reform laws. The misdemeanor of reckless driving, as you see on the screen, isn't eligible for bail. If someone commits this crime 10 yeah, times I'm doing good, so how, day, how they'll get you bail gang? every time right, because of New it. York's bail reform laws. Now, some of you may not believe how insane New York's bail reform laws are, but they are insane. Like this guy who was arrested 101 times for shopping. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, we are yapping a little bit. Let me, uh, let me skip through this, let me skip through this. <clears throat> Is it 150? Oh yeah, 150 hour. Yeah, that's right. How many people? <laughs> 15 cars. Wait, listen to that part. Wait, you want me to listen to this bit? Okay, 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 okay. Where we at? Where we at? The misdemeanor of reckless driving, as you see on the screen, isn't eligible for bail. If someone commits Yo, you leave, leave the gifted, 10 bro. times in the same day, they'll get bail every time because of New York's bail reform. Leave the fucking gifted. Now, some of you may not believe how insane New York's bail reform laws are, but they are We need to get 100, baby, let's guy. go! He was arrested 101 times for shoplifting and let go every time because of New York's bail reform laws. Or oh, this shit. guy who was arrested for three assaults in one day, even threw a brick through a store window. He was released every single time on bail reform. Or the story of these how the four people who chopped up two bodies. Left they don't punish criminals? Like how though? What the fuck? Hello? Body parts all around the state of New York. And then when the cops went to their home, they found blood, body parts, guts, everything in their home. Guess what the judge did? He released them without bail. 
when you put everything together, I think these How? guys it because they don't really have any fear that they're going to kill anybody. And if they get caught reckless driving, they'll get arrested and charged, but they'll probably be let out the same day on bail reform. Then we can go out and do it again. If you need legal advice, if you're looking to this YouTube video to help you in your case, you're looking at the wrong place. With that being said, I'm Nate the Lawyer and I'm out. Peace. Holy After shit. hearing what Nate the Lawyer said, hearing that there's no consequences really for what these guys are doing, it makes sense why they're doing it. Back w. Kalab. How often do you guys get nervous doing this? Oh, I'm getting sometimes. So when I start, I see it super nervous, especially when I use a And the reason I started running is not because I, like, I don't like cops. It's simply because, like, it got to a point where I can't afford the tickets anymore. Because I was getting singled out for no reason. The speed limit is 50, right? So I would be on the Belle Parkway and I'm going 70, 75. I'm doing the same speed everyone else is doing. However, when the state trooper sees everyone else and me, they single me out because I'm in a white port. So then they think I can afford the ticket, but... In the beginning, I could, but then that shit started. Now I feel bad. Any gift isn't it? Yeah. And if you're gonna say kidding, oh, just don't speed, I wasn't speeding. I was just keeping up with the flow of traffic, right? And then I just started running one day because I just couldn't afford the tickets anymore. And then it just started from there. I'm super nervous at first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you anybody give this sub? Holy shit, bro! Thank you so much. Weird Brit thingy reacts to content. 50 hours, 150. Yeah, okay, cool. Get out of town, lawyer, please. After the first time, I only got nervous. That was only because I got sick How many people were after you? 15 cars? Yeah. Holy fuck. Do you guys have to get away from helicopters before? I never had to. Thanks God. Honestly, I feel like I don't need that. Has the news reached out to any of you guys? Oh, yeah, of course. Bro, I ain't going for it. This is crazy. I don't like AV7. I don't like AV7 news at all. Because they reached out to me about my content, and they still posted it after I said no. I don't like that. But yeah, Damn. I don't know who's about this so news reporters have reached out to you guys. You have been hating on me for two years? No fucking way. Since the- What since does this mean? Tell me what it means, fucking Roblox geek. What does it mean? What does what mean for me? Oh, this shit's just like for a display. Go up the stairs and go. There's nothing here. It's like the preview to the next level. <laughs> You're such a nerd. <laughs> Fuck it, <you>, nigga. <laughs> oh, Ew! Okay, I'm at the next spot. Damn, niggas is. What does this mean? Tell Ew! Why is his laugh so fucking ugly there? What the fuck? <clears throat> this is way. Oh, okay. Holy shit. That's what Doofus stole the laugh from? Fucking hell, bro. Like, you hang out with someone, you start becoming them, bro. Like, the DM you I get it. Can they email you? Okay, so Ali Bauman from CBS New York. I get it. Chat, you guys never hang out with someone and start picking shit out from them? Say no to her and yes to me. What we watching? We watching the most danger, the most. I mean, yeah, the most wanted, dangerous drivers in New York. <laughs> a guy from my school got taken by the police mid class because of drug related stuff. Why did you censor that? Uh, he had ketamine in school. What the fuck? Your UK lingo? I don't even use UK lingo anymore, bro. Because like I fit in with like, bro. I hang out with you guys every day, right? And I pick up what you guys, like, be saying and stuff. So, like, that's why I talk, like, how I talk and shit. Because that's, that's you guys, you know? I generally feel like you're not gonna try to pay But if I'm, if I'm, see, it's weird, bro. This is the thing, right? Because when I'm with my, when I'm with the boys, like, my, my IRLs, right? When I'm with my boys, it slips back into UK mode. So, like, I'm not really like this with my, it's so weird, bro. Like, it's like different, um, what do you call it, bro? You guys know what I mean, though? Uh, yes, Doofy, pretty much, bro. Do you have friends other than your followers? Shut the fuck up. Yes, I do. Chat, I got, I got, I got a thousand followers on Instagram, bro. You guys don't think those are my friends? 582 followers on Instagram. Do you guys not think I have any friends? Metro Grooming, I saw that, bro. That's pretty bad. What is he saying about that, though? To me, it feels really fun to have no journalistic background and to be beating them at their own game. He tried deleting the tweets. Yes, a long day for Metro. I can't lie. Don't trust the news. They've lied so many times that their anyway. credit's gone with us. I need some of your emotion. Don't you have fucking like 8k or 10k or something on Instagram? <clears throat> the worst I've said when I was younger was the F slur. 
I mean, we didn't ask about that, Doofin, but okay. <laughs> Pull over, take the tracker out the whip. Range Rover Sport, I'm on the jacket doing tricks. Keep swimming, got the paddles in the ship. Let's meet the swim team and let's hear their specialties. Well, swim team. You already know. And what's your specialty? Weak ass song. It's gonna be copyright free, bro. All I do is float. That's my name. It's what I do. It's everything. Do you feel like you have to look over your shoulder doing this kind of stuff? I always look over my shoulder. I'm always not in one. I, I would say I'm kind of camera shy, but like my specialty is like I do a little bit of everything. But when it comes to like the, uh, you know, the corporate side of things, you know, the brand and stuff, like I'm basically like the brain behind that whole. Wait, so you're trying to turn this into a video game? I mean, we already kind of did. It's a game, so it's called a set of Porsche. So basically, oh, uh, we host servers, and you just gotta take the link, hop on the server, and if any one of us happens to play on the server, you get to drive with swim risk free. Where's 981? That's kind of. That's kind of crazy though. Like, what? That's kind of that's kind of cool. I like well that. Aware that his fans are young. What if the cops arrest the white guy and give him the footage? You know, I fucking know, bro. But like, this guy makes videos like these, so that's why they reached out to him because they trust him. They fuck with him. You should play that. How much is it? Males that might try and replicate what they do, and knowing that that is incredibly dangerous, his team has done something so you. Can Me and my dad should hop on that. Home. They built this online a set of courses. <laughs> that be fun. Actually. You can drive, swerve, drift, whatever you want. Eleven pounds. Oh hell no. Internet connection, and it's recommended you have a steering wheel. Details to join the server are. I don't even have a steering wheel, bro. Oh my god, yo, I might have to like talk to my dad to see like what I could get, bro. Because he, he knows more than I do about this shit. My dad's got a whole setup, but I don't. Should I invest? Nah, bro. I can't be doing that right now. I'm trying to get my DJ shit right now. <laughs> I can't do that right now. Do you think you're wanted by law? Nah, but what if you're playing the game and the police are on the game and they use, like, military technology to, like, get the IP address, get in their fucking addresses, though? Like, think about they it. They definitely know about us. I mean, me specifically, I have no clue. If I am wanted, I'm sorry. I don't hate NYPD. I just don't want to take it. What do you go by? Brick 250 or Brick 50. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that... Yo, was that, that a was that a mis-edit? Was that a mis-edit? Oh, he's wearing glasses. He's fine, bro. He's fine. What do you go by? <clears throat> Brick 250 or Brick 50. Either one is fine. But what's your specialty? Well, There's right seat now, wheels? I think the fans would probably say my specialty is not police chases, cop chases, and stuff like that. But in my opinion, I think drifting is How many police chases do you nah, think? Nah, drifting stuff. Honestly, bro, I lost. Luke probably joined a reckless driving team called Crunchy Teeth. Oh, probably, because I posted at least 30, I think, so I think I have... You have at least 30 police chases on the internet right now. Yeah. Why is this... Bold to assume Luke can drive? Oh my fucking god, bro. I have literally driven on stream before. Are we forgetting that? Potentially <sighs> going to prison. No matter how you look at it, it's not worth it at all. Me being how I am as a person, bro... Are we forgetting that? Like, hello? So I'm Reaper. What's your specialty? I'm more of a low-key swimmer. I'm not really making videos and stuff, but, you know, if you know, you know. That was... Do you have any little brothers? Oh, yeah. If they wanted to get into this, what would you tell them? I'm a hypocrite, bro. I wouldn't recommend this, bro. You don't recommend that? This is a question for the whole group. How often do you guys have to change vehicles? I say if you do it right, you could probably go a year to two years where you have to swap the car. For TOS reasons, you driven on stream without looking at chat? Oh, yeah, no, I don't look at chat on, on, while I'm driving. Smart, but you could do some dumb shit in one night that makes you have to swap. What do you go by? My name's Billy. And what's your specialty? Wait, I'm not saying that I have, but is it actually TOS? I haven't anyway, but... Honestly, the fans kind of know me as Lester, I guess I would say. That's, um, if you get in trouble, you can call me. I'll, I'll help you with your situation. So what makes this worth doing? Wait, that's so tough. They got Lester in real life? I doing it if I were you, but I can't make your decision for you. So if you are going to do this against our best wishes, I guess, just think about other people on the road and do whatever you can to bring it home without hurting yourself, hurting anybody else, or damaging any property. Tell me how you think about taking on risks and danger. I think if you're ever going to take on any risks or any danger, whether it's physical risk or financial risk, I think you should write down every single one of the variables that could be a factor in the risk that you're taking, and you should figure out what's the worst case scenario that could go wrong, you still driving any other suit? kind of scenarios that could That'd go wrong, tough, and you want to figure out what the best case scenario is, and if that's worth the gamble for you, for the risks that are laid out on the table, but if those those risks are worth the reward that you're going for, I think you should go for it. And if at any time you get too scared, the risks are too much for the reward, you don't want to risk it for the business. Fuck it hell. Because you're not built for it. If you want to How do they get paid life, by it though? Take extraordinary measures and risks and action, but know your lane and know when to sit out. And you should join swim? 
Are they looking for a UK roster? This is something I'm sitting out for. Also, the story of Icarus, you, when you have wax wings and you fly too close to the sun, never feel like you got it unlocked 24-7. The story of Icarus comes from Greek mythology, and it recounts the tale of Daedalus and his son Icarus, who were imprisoned on the island of Crete by King Minos. To oh, yeah? escape, Daedalus fashioned wings made of feathers and wax for him and Icarus. Warned by his father not to fly too close to the sun, Icarus disregarded this advice. As he soared higher and higher, the wax melted, causing his wings to fail, and he plummeted into the sea and drowned. This story serves as a cautionary tale oh, warning against the dangers of overconfidence and okay. recklessness. And this story, I think, is very relevant to Mr. Squeeze Benz. You stream 19 times in April, and how many fucking days are in April, dipshit? 30, bro. Like, bro, my bad if I'm working or if I have, like, shit, like, what do you even mean by that? What do you even mean by that? Like, fucking half of, like, six, six of those days are weekends, right? Six of those days are weekends. Anything you gotta say for the camera, brother? You have work? Mobby, you fucking... I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it, because you know what I do, bro. Two, you couldn't make it. Yeah, so you asked these questions. What do you think of swimming? So here's the thing. I think danger is good in somebody's life, but when you endanger someone Eight days of the month. Well, there you fucking go, then. You're having your own fun. That's where I'm iffy about it. Yeah. I, I admire the courage. I admire the bravery. But when other people's lives are at risk, to me, it's like it's a hard battle. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if I lost a friend because someone was just having fun on the road, oh, I'd want to kill that guy. Yeah. I also, as a young man who does dangerous things, too, get it. But I highly advise you, don't try it out. <laughs> Fucking hell. God of War, how much is it? If it's above... 10 pounds, then don't bother telling me. <clears throat> we met these guys here to do B-roll of their cool cars. But while waiting their turn, a couple of them decided to do donuts in a parking lot oh, where there shit. were many families. Because of this, the police were called, and in a few minutes, an NYPD helicopter arrived on the scene. This is what happened next. Oh, shit. Hello folks, I'm Tommy G, here with the most wanted drivers in New York, look, they're peeling out. Oh shit. Folks, I wasn't lying when I said these guys are wanted. Well folks, I think it's time we get out of here. Damn, so they really just did? Realize that the choices you make can impact other people. There's dangerous things you can do that just impact yourself. When it impacts scared civilians, we should probably get out of here. Let's go. I'm conflicted with this video, folks, because a lot of young people are going to think this is cool. Holy fuck. And they're too, their brain is not developed enough to realize the risk to other people. And I feel like you got to pick and choose your battles. And, uh, like, while it is exciting, statistically, eventually, someone is going to crash, someone's going to die, someone's going to get paralyzed, and the game that sounded so fun is not so fun anymore. From game boys to scales. Holy shit. Now, I like that video, though. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. I'm just want, I just want to I just want to get this out of the way and show you guys, bro, because like I am a good driver. I have driven on fucking stream before and I, I'm not a bad driver, bro. Where is it? Right here. <clears throat> Hold on, bro. Look, 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 look. Where are we at? Hold on. When did I start driving, bro? See look, D does this look bad? Hopefully it's not gonna look great in low light, I'm aware. What the fuck am I at, bro? See, look, chat, I'm a good fucking driver, right, bro. Dude. So we're in the slums of High Wickham, bro. Looks awful. Shut up, bro. Green screen. We can't tell? Well, I've not fucking crashed, so I'm not a bad driver, bro. That's just the, that's the long and the short of it. I'm not a fucking bad driver. I have not crashed. <laughs>